Hello everyone. Since 2011, in last 10 plus years, the machine learning technology has seen several advances. My name is Avkash and in this video, I'm going to take you a visual journey to explore the various integral parts of a modern and scalable machine learning pipeline. So please sit back, relax and enjoy this visual journey inside the modern and scalable machine learning pipeline. Pipeline consists of several stages of processing levels with lots of inputs and outputs. Like any other pipeline, the machine learning pipeline also consists of several levels. To be very specific, there are four key levels in any machine learning pipeline and the very first level is the data preparation level. The incoming data is processed through this data preparation stage and the final merged and the clean data which is machine learning ready is produced as the output of the stage number one or the data preparation stage. The machine learning ready data is fed into the stage number two or the machine learning training and the tuning stage. Another level of processing happens here and the final output or the final product from this stage is the model is generated as its output. The leader or the winner model which comes out as the output from the stage number two is the input for the stage number three, which is the model deployment stage. The leader or the winner model is deployed at the stage number three, where it is ready to perform the score or prediction, which is the part of stage number four. The stage number four is the inference stage, where the incoming data is being passed to the scoring or the prediction service which has been created in combination with the model deployment stage. The new incoming data is processed and a score or the prediction is generated as the output. And it is at a high level, the data preparation stage looks like this. The output of this stage is the clean and the merge data, which is the product of this stage. So let's take a look what happens in this data preparation stage. For any organization, there are several data sources. These data sources could be the blocks, objects, files, unstructured data, or the data source could be the database or the relational database tables, which are stored on a variety of these database resources. The stream is another type of source data, which could be part of several organizations. And finally, the custom data sources. So custom data source could be anything, combination of uh, all of above data types, or it's a custom data types, which is very organization specific. All of these data sources are combined together into the data acquisition phase, where all these streams or all these variety of data sources, they come and the next step happens at the data wrangling space. After data is acquired from various sources, the data goes into the data wrangling stage where the cleaning, outlier detection, the imputations, merge and join, ambiguity detection, and various other types of operations performed on this acquired data. The number of activities varies from enterprise to enterprise depending on the incoming or the acquired data requirement. The objective of data wrangling stage is to make sure data is ready for the machine learning. It means the data wrangling stage performed various operations on this incoming data so that data can be cleaned and merged and the final ground truth available for the machine learning stage. Depending on organizational requirement, more 
processing can be added into the data wrangling stage or some or only a few of these processing can be processed. An organization can use in-house services for the data wrangling or could use any other third party services to perform any of these data wrangling exercises as required for the given enterprise data. The second stage of data preparation is the pre-processing stage. The objective of pre-processing the objective of pre-processing stage is to take the clean and merge or the combined data and perform various operations on it so that this data can be ready for machine learning. The pre-processing stage can combine the processing like unbiasing, normalizing, labeling, regularizing, balancing, feature engineering, encoding, and many other techniques which, techniques which may not be written here. The objective of this pre-processing is to make sure the data which is going to be fed into the machine learning is fully ready so that it can generate the meaningful results. Depending on organizational and the data requirement, many other techniques or the pre-processing techniques can be added and it also depend on the type of data and the variation built into the incoming data. After the pre-processing is complete, the machine learning ready data is generated in the second part of data preparation stage. For now, we will not cover the data artifacts and the feature store. We will come back that at the last. Once the output from the data preparation stage is ready as the machine learning ready data, that data is the machine learning ready data, this data is fed into the machine learning pipeline. The machine learning pipeline consists of a group of machine learning engines depending on enterprise requirement or a combination of one or more machine learning platforms, engine libraries. And these engines or the platforms could be running on the local environment or could be the hosted environment. The primary tasks at the machine learning training and the tuning levels are algorithm selections, experimentation, and this experimentation could be very deep. It's all depend on the type of problem machine learning platform is solving and the variations and varieties given into the input data. Other techniques such as blending and stackings of the models are added into the same stage and the auto ML or automated machine learning is also performed. So the combination of one or many of these techniques and even the techniques which are not listed here could be part of machine learning training and the tuning stage. The output of this stage is a collection of models. These models vary in their performance depending on how they were created through the machine learning training and tuning system. The objective of machine learning training stage is to generate one or more these models so they can be evaluated to find which particular model could be the best or the leader or the winner model specific to this given problem. So the very first stage of machine learning training and tuning is a wide collection of machine learning models specific to the given problems. These models are fed into the second stage of machine learning training and tuning, which is the model evaluation stage. At this stage, the actions such as matrix validation to detect the model accuracy, finding the bias or making sure the model is unbiased, make sure the model is interpretable and model is also explainable and the various diff related tests are all performed. It means the model evaluation phase performs various tests on the given collection of models to make sure the final model which is generated from this stage is totally compatible 
to the organizational requirement and has capability to solve the given problem. The final output from the model evaluation stage is the leader or the winner model. Once the leader or the winner model is selected based on organizational and the problem specific decision making process, that model is ready to be set as the final model which can be used for the next stage of machine learning pipeline which is machine learning model deployment pipeline. Again, depending on organizational requirement and the infrastructure capabilities available, these models could be hosted on the cloud or on-prem and the endpoints could be created so that model can be used or the batch transformation pipeline or the batch transformation environment can be created. Whether the model is being processed through the hosted endpoints or the batch transformation, the final or the leader model is being used as the final product to perform the prediction or the score as the final output. Once model is ready to perform this prediction or the score, the inference pipeline is active for taking the incoming data and process it whether through API model or the batch processing model to generate the outputs in single or bulk mode. Stall depending on how the incoming data requirements are. So the inference pipeline, the new data which comes whether in a single or the bulk mode and depending on the various APIs or the batch transformation capabilities that data is processed and the prediction or the scores are generated as the final output. And that's how various stages into the machine learning pipeline work together to solve a machine learning problem and generate the final result. At majority of organizations, this is a common format or the standard format of a given machine learning pipeline. However, as the technology improves and new and advanced capabilities are added into the machine learning pipeline, some new features are also added. And those new features are the feature store, online and offline mode, along with the model registry. So let's take a look into how everything play together. As you could see here, the incoming data, which is coming out from various sources, has to go through with the data wrangling stage. And finally, when the data is combined, merged, clean, it goes for the pre-processing stage that happens within the pipeline and machine learning ready data is created. At that time, the introduction of the feature store can simplify the machine learning pipeline for any organization. The data artifacts such as metadata, the lineage of the data, various information which is hidden into the data, they all can be stored as a data artifacts. So next time when the data is coming, the data could be validated for its correctness and its readiness for machine learning. So a feature store offline is used to fed the machine learning ready data to the machine learning pipeline instead of giving that data directly from pre-processing stage to the machine learning training pipeline. So the introduction of feature store helps organization to maintain the pre-processing at a very high reusable and feature store helps pre-processing done effectively and depending on data requirement, the reusability of feature store can solve the cumberness as well as the deduplication of actions in this pre-processing stage. The data artifacts helps pre-processing to make sure the data integrity is maintained and if any change recorded in the data can be quickly notified and the machine learning retraining can be performed 
as if needed. The code artifact, which is the configuration, the parameters, the values, anything what happened in this machine learning training stage can be recorded and can be used through code artifacts. The variation into various machine learning iterations, the changes, the values, how the changes happen, everything can be recorded depending on the organizational need and the capability of code artifacts system. Finally, the leader or the winner model can also be stored into the model registry. If you do not have model registry, the output model is directly sent from machine learning training pipeline to the deployment pipeline, where its manageability can be questioned. Having a model registry helps any organization to maintain various versions of model as they coming out from number of machine learning training iterations and machine learning model registry always helps organization to choose one of the best model based on different model evaluation techniques. With the model registry, the model deployment pipeline always picks up the best and the latest model available specific to the problem. So the model registry introduces the stability in a machine learning pipeline where the disconnect between the model training and the model deployment helps organization to stabilize the model deployment effectively. A model registry also consists the model artifact. It means the details about the models and all the previous models which were created related to this problem. These model artifacts always help to understand if a winner model was selected, what were the grounds. So the introduction of model registry definitely a very big plus for any given machine learning pipeline. Finally, when this new data comes for the inference, that data also need to pre-processed so that it can be understood by the model because the data which was used for machine learning model training was the pre-processed data and it went through with several level of pre-processing since it arrived from its original source. It means that pre-processing is also required at the inference level. So the introduction of online feature store helps the same pre-processing can be performed on the incoming data in real time before sending for the scoring or prediction. So the introduction of feature store not only helps the data processing pipeline, it also helps immensely the inference pipeline. The incoming data, which can also be stored and can be made available for retraining whenever it's applicable depending on machine learning model or the pipeline requirement. Retraining can be introduced if the model is not performing well or the model performance is decaying or model is not able to perform well because there is lots of new changes into the data and model needs to be retrained to learn these new signals arrived in this new data. So a machine learning pipeline should also be capable enough to trigger when the retraining is needed and if needed, the all the data which came since the model was trained last time, that data must also be available for the retraining. And the introduction of feature store along with model registry and the various artifacts does help that process very effectively and make the machine learning pipeline a modern, scalable pipeline which is ready to handle any business requirement to solve the machine learning specific problem. So I hope you have enjoyed the visual introduction to the modern and scalable machine learning pipeline. If you liked my content, please subscribe our channel and help us to grow. I will be seeing you in my next tutorial. Until then, thank you.